Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I want to bring you a pretty in-depth video of how I use the Grand Exchange efficiently. I find that most people that use the Grand Exchange, they don't really know how to buy and sell efficiently. So in this video, I'll be covering that topic. That way you can save a lot of money as well as make a lot of money from the Grand Exchange for basically doing nothing. So I'll show you guys one of my most favorite methods and that is uh, buying and selling armor pieces. So you might be wondering what that means. But basically, I, I love doing Slayer. On this account, I'm 84 Slayer. On my other account, I am 91 Slayer. And I'm constantly rebuying and selling my armor pieces because I, I'm constantly doing different tasks and I don't have that much money. I mean, this is quite a bit of money for sure. But in terms of buying like the most expensive gear, if you want to buy Pagasian boots, you want to buy full armor deal, uh, sometimes juggling around you know I have about 250 mil here but juggling around that type of money is sometimes very difficult on two accounts especially since both of them are about maxed uh, so what I like to do is I like to use this thing called RS Buddy uh, Grand Exchange if you don't know what that is I'll link the description I'll link it in the description box below but I'll switch over to it right now but uh, basically you can buy and sell armor pieces by looking at these prices and basically this website kind of knows exactly what the average price of each of these items are going for at a specific point of time. So uh, if I go to, there's quarterly, there's monthly, and there's weekly. You can go into some more in-depth methods of how to make money like in quarterly, uh, monthly, and weekly. But usually I will just do it on weekly because I'm kind of cycling through my Slayer equipment so quickly that uh, I only look at like a few hours worth of data. Uh, so... It kind of gives you a range of what those prices are. So right now, basically what this buy price is telling you is that uh, people are buying this uh, primordial boots for this price. Like if you were to sell your primordial boots right now on RuneScape, very likely someone's buying it at that price. Whereas if you are trying to buy primordial boots from the Grand Exchange, this is probably the price you're going to have to pay for in the Grand Exchange in order to buy it. But you'll see that there is about like a... 20,000 to 30,000 coin difference so if you were just patient and you just bought it a little bit above this price so I'll put the price at like 28 million and 92,000 and you wait a few minutes and you'll buy that uh, piece of item usually you will be able to buy it like 95% of the time instead of just going to the Grand Exchange I'll show you guys here I'll go back to RuneScape instead of just going to Primordial Boots on the Grand Exchange like this um, and then clicking this item to put plus 5% and then just buying, you're actually at the whims of the market. So uh, that sell price that you were looking at before, I'll go back to RuneScape. Um, it, this is just an average that people are selling it at. So it could be possible that, you know, people are only selling Primordial Boots at 28200000 but this kind of price doesn't completely reflect what you're buying from the Grand Exchange. So you want to be very careful with always, you want to be careful by using the plus 5% because you don't really know what people are selling that price for. And you can lose a lot of money from buying and selling your Slayer equipment this way. So I'll show you guys an example of me maybe buying a piece of equipment using the RS Buddy Grand Exchange. That way you guys can just see how this tactic is played out. So uh, say I'm buying a Bandos chestplate. I actually need that for one of my tasks then I will usually go back into the RS Buddy Grand Exchange and I'll type in uh, Bando's chest plate and usually there will be a drop down menu for what that item is. And these prices are pretty accurate as well. So it's saying right now that the buy price is 19,710,200 GP and the sell price is 19,669,942. So right now the lower of the prices is what people are buying them at. So if I just bought it a little bit higher than this price right here, uh, there's a very good chance that I will be able to buy it. So I'll go back to um, the Bandos chest plate on RuneScape. And I'll type in that price that I just saw. Let me switch back. It is 19,669,000. So I'll put it at 19,670,000. That way I'm about 1,000 coins above the actual price. And we'll see how quickly it takes to buy it. I'll time it. Right now it's 12.20pm. Uh, I'll give it a little bit of time to see how long it takes to buy. 
All right, there we go, guys. So it took exactly two minutes for it to buy out. I was a little afraid it might not buy out, but uh, I, I guess I didn't show you guys the clock as well, which I apologize about. I'm kind of just making this video on the fly, but you'll see there I bought my Banos chest plate for 19670000 And what you could actually do if you really wanted to is to sell this piece of armor for the sell price, which is right now, I'll show you guys right here, the buy price, sorry. It's right now 19.71 million. If I really wanted to, I could flip it. Or if I want, I can just use the Bandos chest plate myself, use it for a Slayer task, and then kind of just refresh the screen when you're finished, and then just sell it for that price. And then at least you guaranteed that you saved 50,000 coins from at least buying for the cheapest price possible, rather than just going ahead and then just buying it at that price. So I guess I'll share with you guys my next method, which is buying these pieces of armor during night. So if you have a lot more time, uh, I basically showed you how I did this in two minutes. If I waited, say, eight hours like before I go to sleep, you can actually buy these pieces of armor for much, much cheaper. And I'll show you guys why. So I'll go back to the Grand Exchange, uh, RS Buddy Grand Exchange. These prices that you see here, the sell price and buy price, they're all just averages. They're constantly being bought and sold. So you can see um, every few hours, there's like a thousand Bandos chest plates being sold. And this price is not stable at all. Although every hour this thing updates, it's not really reflective of what people are buying and selling it for. Because if you ever watched how things get bought and sold in the marketplace, um, it's constantly jumping up and down way above the price that people are buying it for and way below the price that people are selling before. The Grand Exchange is very volatile in that same way in which um, you can probably buy a Banos chest plate for 19.5 mil uh, just because there's, there was no one buying a Banos chest plate during that time and someone wanted to sell it right away and then they'll go to the Grand Exchange or something and then uh, I'll show you guys here, they might just lower it for the cheapest price possible and then just sell it and you might get lucky, you might be able to buy a Banos chest plate for way under that a sell price so if you have like eight hours or you're about to go to bed and you want to buy new equipment what i would do is just well depending on how expensive that piece of armor is so if the piece of armor is like 20 million coins uh usually a good reference is you know try to save about 10 percent so 20 million piece of armor that for for example like a banos chest plate and i know that the sell price is like 19.66 million about average I'll try to maybe save about 200,000 coins. So usually on the Grand Exchange, uh, I'll buy the piece of armor for like 19 million and 400,000 and then I'll put it up. So I'll go to RuneScape. I'll show you guys. I'll usually just go like, oh, 19,400 and then I'll post a, um, whoa, whoa, that actually, how did I get that? Oh, wait. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I ac accidentally sold my Banos chest plate, but you can see there actually, it's actually a good example that even when I did sell the piece of armor for very cheap, um, I, I didn't lose any money. If you go back to my Banos chest plate history, uh, I actually made a thousand coins, but I actually thought it was the other way around. I thought I was buying the piece of armor rather than selling it. That's my bad. I'm kind of making this video pretty quickly, but I actually made 123 coins. So uh, basically... Uh, I'll rebuy my Banos chest plate and just re redo the example because honestly, I can buy my Banos chest plate back every two minutes or so, and it's not that big of a deal. So, uh, I'll for example, if I'm about to go to bed, it's pretty funny. Uh, 19, I'll post it up for 19.4 million. That's about 200,000 coins cheaper than what most people are buying and selling for. So I'll go back to the Grand Exchange to show you guys. Uh, right now the Averages right now is about 19.7 million, 19.6. So putting it at 19.4 is much cheaper. But if I'm waiting eight hours, it's very likely that I will be able to buy that Banos chest plate. And when you wake up in the morning, you'll probably see that the averages for Banos chest plates have not changed that much, or uh, they might actually go up in price and you still would have bought it. So you could actually make quite a bit of money from this method. There's a lot of times where I'll buy that Banos chest plate. And then suddenly it shoots up to like 20 million coins. And I made like 600 coin profit just for buying that Banos chest plate overnight. But the same token, uh, you can also lose money. So there's times where uh, I'll be buying like a Dragon Hunter crossbow for 155 mil. Uh, that is like 
the average price is 160 mil, and then suddenly overnight it drops by 10 mil, and people were trying to dump their Dragon Hunter crossbows, then uh, unfortunately I lost 10 mil, but on an average, if you were to just do this for every single piece of armor, the at least it just minimizes the risk that you lose money from doing this. Most cases, uh, I usually make money, then I lose money. And that's basically one of the methods I make money during uh, during sleeping. And this also, I guess, goes on to my next point that you can also sell pieces of armor for way above the price that they're actually for overnight. So I'll go back to the Grand Exchange once again. So the average right here is about 19.7 million. I can actually list uh, that Bandos chest plate for, say, 19.9 million. And some person is going to want that Bandos chest plate desperately. And you might just get lucky and be the seller for that buyer. So uh, I don't have a Bandos chest plate here. I guess I'll do another example. Uh, let's do Primordial Boots. I guess I'm spending a lot of time with this method, but... Uh, it, honestly, it's so good to do this method because you save a lot of money buying your piece of equipment and if you're trying to go for maxed equipment setups, this is probably the most efficient way of doing it. So uh, you'll see with the primordial boots, right now they're going for 28,100,000 coins. For example, uh, going back to RuneScape, I'll usually list the primordial boots before I go to sleep for about 28,300,000. For example, sorry, I'm typing this in all wrong. So I'll post it for about 200,000 coins more than what people are actually um, buying or selling for. And usually those items will sell out. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen occasionally. You can also choose to change that number to like 28,200,000 if you're more desperate to sell it by the time you wake up in the morning. Uh, but overall, Waiting in the Grand Exchange is just a great method to making money overnight. It's uh, very passive and it's actually very exciting to check your uh, Grand Exchange offers just to see if everything bought and sold and see how much money you made over the span of eight hours. So hopefully that covered over how to use the Grand Exchange to the most efficient way possible for buying pieces of armor and selling pieces of armor. And really this extends further not to just armor but for anything that you are buying. So if you're buying herbs, if you're training uh, uh, training other things like crafting or fire making or whatever the case may be, um, using the RS Buddy Grand Exchange prices and knowing how to buy and sell uh, items efficiently in the Grand Exchange will land you a lot more money and save you a lot more money in the long run, especially if you're playing this game for a lot. Uh, you can make you know, a lot of money or minimize the risk of losing a lot more money. Because I think most people, they just use the the plus five percent and plus uh, or the minus five percent, but not knowing that this is probably one of the worst things you could do in RuneScape, which is just to buy and sell for those prices. It's very convenient if you need to sell something right away. It's very convenient. I'll do this usually with like after coming back from Slayer, and I have like a hundred thousand coins worth of you know loot that I got from drops. I'll maybe use those prices. I'll usually use the, the plus five and minus five percent to sell things off. But for the most part, if you have your time and you're buying very expensive items, you want to take your time with it and not just rush the sale because you could be losing 100,000 to 200,000 coins each purchase. So I know this was a long video, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box below. I'm planning to also make some different Grand Exchange videos like how to flip, what the best items to flip, and kind of using the RS Buddy Grand Exchange uh, to your advantage. Oh, look at that! I sold the Primordial Boots! Wow, so I actually, that example worked out. That's great. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, please subscribe for more videos in the future just like this, and I'll see you guys in the next guide. Bye.